week we have our biomass boiler installed going in. So first job of the day was to get the liner finished and that's what Joe and I had struggled to do just to get it through the last bit and it just needed some extra drilling and chipping away to get it through into the boiler room. The two tanks arrived, that's the buffer vessel and the hot water cylinder and the boiler that was already here was pulled over on the pallet truck ready to get lifted. I had to level up the buffer vessel and uh, so the buffer tank and get everything in place to lift this boiler. So the boiler is about 250 kilo when it's empty. So we had some specialist lifting equipment uh, that Futurum had brought with them, but it still was a little bit of a struggle to get it up to that raised platform, being that it was 600 mil high. But we managed to use various pallets to build up the height and then we could safely lift it up to the, uh, the same height as the, the tiles. Obviously once it was at that height then it was a case of kind of lifting it on and sliding it across. So that was really the easy bit, it was just getting it up to the height which was the issue. And we slid it across on a bit of cardboard to uh, just prevent damaging those tiles. So here's a bit of footage from the first couple of days. Throughout the whole installation they used commercial grade fixings for all the pipework and the hangers. And also when it came to fixing all the pipework together, they use the kind of commercial grade press fit, uh, which crimps the pipes and the joints together rather than kind of messing around with soldering or compression fittings or push fit. This is a commercial grade and really reliable way to do it. And we also had the whole system valved uh, in every single part of the system so we could shut off and keep things safe. So new pipe work is coming through. Here, this is the existing pipe work from the old boiler. There's been some reconfiguration, but they'll be all kept. Uh, those holes, so we'll bring through, come through and then go up that trunking up to the air and cupboard. And underfloor heating flow and return was in that corner and I've now put those through the wall ready for the guys to connect up the other side and the new electric supply. Then the dishwasher can go back in and that, tidy that up. This is all gonna be tiled in the future anyway and cleaned up for the new range. All right, so coming into the new utility room, this is gonna be stud wall divided between here and the garage. The floor is gonna be brought right up to the same height as the kitchen. So this is our reinforced uh, plinth that I've built for the boiler to go on, insulated, tiled, and here she is. This is the boiler. Took a little bit of effort to get her up there. Uh, that's the flue liner which goes through all the way to the roof. Again, videos of me up there on the scaffolding doing that and that'll be converted into the stove pipe going down to the back. This is the uh, domestic hot water cylinder to go up in the airing cupboard. And then over to the big boy. This is the buffer tank, which is 500 litres. And uh, all the pipe work started to go in as well. And it's all looking rather beautiful. Buffer tank, uh, sorry, the uh, expansion vessel here for the whole system. I think there's another one of those inside the boiler and integrated one as well. And then we've got all this pipe work here. All the, these are all 28s. Flow and return from the boiler, flow and return to the house, which includes the hot water. And uh, all on this really heavy duty, really nice um, kind of clips and tracking. That'll go all the way across, be routed around on that wall. And that'll be concealed by a new stud wall anyway with some panels there. And then on the side of the boiler, there's a new product which we've got outside, which is uh, basically puts another hopper almost on the side here, which bolts in and there's a gravity fed feeder pellet. So we can top up that, we can top up the boiler and it becomes, you know, uh, maybe once every fortnight um, rather than once every few days. So even better and it'll probably then, you know, put off the need for a big, big uh, silo or hopper outside. Pipe work there goes through the wall, all the cabling as well. This is all the cabling for the various um, programmers and switches and zone valves and all that sort of stuff. This is the new water main that I fitted a couple of weeks ago. They're digging up the main road today, so that should be fun. So I have to excuse the rough and quick video. I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update of what's going on. As I said, we're about halfway through now. So hopefully if everything goes well, by the end of the week, the loft will be complete the whole install will be complete and we will be burning fuel. 
and remember keep updated you can follow us on instagram and twitter i'll put the links in the description and we'll see you next time so thanks for watching and remember if you can do it yourself